friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to one of my all-time favorite videos. And as you all have told me, it is one of your favorites as well. We are back with another comfort food for the entire family. This recipe is so good. It is so low in points. You can have a huge serving for the smart point value. It's absolutely delicious. It's definitely a crowd pleaser, adults, children alike. Definitely, definitely a must try. It's a one pan meal. It's got your vegetables, your starches, your proteins, everything in one pan. Makes it super easy, super fast weeknight meal for all of you busy moms out there, all of you working women. So if you wanna see what I'm making for this edition of Comfort Food for the Family, then all you have to do, stay tuned. Here's what is in our chicken pot pie bubble up. We've got Lola on looking and Diesel. Hi buddy. Everyone's in the kitchen in this family when there's food. So here's everything that's going to be in our chicken pot pie bubble up. You'll need one can of biscuits, preferably the 7.5 ounce with 10 biscuits, just to keep your points the same as mine. You're going to need some chicken breast, some fat-free cheddar cheese, mixed vegetables, reduced fat sour cream, reduced fat cream of chicken soup, and then some spices. So I decided to use garlic, herb, and butter, sea salt, and pepper. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we need to do is cook up our chicken because the recipe calls for shredded chicken. So the fastest way is cooking that in your Instapot or your pressure cooker. So I do have some nonstick cooking spray here. I am going to really spray the bottom and sides of my Instapot because I don't want my chicken sticking to the bottom. And then here I have my chicken pieces or chicken breasts. I'm just going to add them to my Instapot. And what I love about this is it cooks your chicken um, from this is these are semi frozen. I did take them out of the freezer last night and put them in the fridge, but it doesn't look like they got fully um, Dethawed while sitting in the fridge. So I am literally just going to put my pieces of chicken in there. No spices. I'll go ahead and add that at the end and we're going to get this all fired up. It'll be 20, 25 minutes and our chicken will be completely cooked through. Super easy to start the pressure cooker. All we're going to do is go ahead and hit the chicken tab, which is going to put 25 minutes on. We're going to add our lid. You just want to make sure that your lid is completely locked in place and that your vents here are closed and you are good to go. So it does take a few minutes to heat up and then the actual cooking time is roughly 20 to 25 minutes. So we'll let our chicken get cooked up here and then we'll get it shredded and let's make this amazingly delicious comfort food. I just pulled my chicken out of the Instapot. It is cooked absolutely to perfection. I will give you a pro tip. The easiest way to shred chicken is to use your hand mixer. So super easy. You're just going to turn it on a fairly low speed and you're just going to move it around. I kind of turn it off and on because it will clean chicken. Part of why I have a larger bowl here. But yeah, you just want to bring it across each chicken breast. Give it the chance to kind of shred it up. But it really truly is the fastest, easiest, less messiest way to shred up chicken. Once you've shredded your chicken, look at how perfect that is. This recipe is so easy. We're literally going to add all the rest of our ingredients into our one bowl. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my Campbell's reduced fat cream of chicken soup. We're gonna go ahead and add in the whole can. I love my little Pampered Chef skinny little spatula. This thing is so great for cans and jars because it's long enough that it just gets down in there and you can get all of the goodness out of your cans and your jars. So I have my cream of chicken to that. I'm gonna go ahead and add one quarter cup of my reduced fat sour cream. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and add in our entire bag of vegetables. It does call for two cups, which is about the entire bag. I'm gonna go ahead and just use them all. Vegetables are zero points. Did you see him down there? And then one and three quarters cup of fat-free shredded cheese. And then lastly, we're gonna add in some spices. So here I have some ground black pepper, and you're just gonna add that to your liking. For seasoning, those of you that follow my channel know that I like a lot of flavor in my food, so 
I load up on the spices. I'm also going to add some of the new spice I found at Ross, the garlic, herb, and butter. I think that this might give it just kind of that garlicky flavor, but also add a few different herbs into the mix as well. Smells really good. And then lastly, I'm just going to go ahead and add in some salts. And then I'm going to get this all mixed together. This is seriously so easy. Everything is in one bowl. And then this is going to go in a 9 by 13 baking dish. And to that, the top of the casserole, we're going to go ahead and add our biscuits. And that's what creates the bubble up. So I'm going to get this all nice and combined together. And we'll get this into our 9 by 13 dish. But doesn't this look so good? Once you get everything nice and combined, we're gonna go ahead and add that to our nine by 13 baking dish. Make sure that you spray that with some nonstick cooking spray. But this is so easy. I love how easy and fast this recipe is. And if you pre-cooked your chicken um, on a meal prep day and shredded that up, it would make this an even faster. You could literally have this meal in the oven in 10 minutes or less if you pre-cooked your chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this spread out in the bottom and then we'll get this into the oven. Once you get everything into the bottom of your pan, that looks so delicious. I have my biscuits here and we are just literally gonna add our biscuit pieces to the top of our bubble up and it will make a nice crust on top that simulates your um, pot pie. And this can of biscuits has um, 10 biscuits in it. It is three biscuits per serving. So not bad um, for the calories. I think you can have three biscuits for 160 calories, which I believe is like four points. So not bad. We won't even have three biscuits per um, serving of our bubble up. So there we go. We've got our biscuits in. And then this is going to go into the oven. And I'll be back to show you the completed meal. Chicken pot pie bubble up is out of the oven. This looks absolutely delicious. So the serving size on this is actually one fourth of this pan. So that's a lot. I am gonna give you the smart points for one fourth and then I'll give you the smart points for one sixth. So if you decide to go ahead and divide this up into six servings versus four servings. So this is one sixth of the casserole. So one fourth would be a lot of food. This is on a regular size dinner plate and it takes up a good portion of it. So let me show you the pan so that you can see what is left over. So here's the pan cut into the six servings. Now again, you can cut this into four servings. It just depends on the number of points that you wanna use uh, for your meal. So this is dinner tonight. It looks absolutely delicious. Again, this is one sixth, but both the points for one fourth and one sixth are on the screen. So you eat whatever you wanna use the points for, but this is comfort food at its finest. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Comfort Food for the entire family. I hope that you absolutely enjoyed this video. You definitely, definitely have to try this recipe. It's absolutely delicious. I am going to go ahead and put it down in the description box below. I did actually modify my recipe from a different recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and give you my recipe below. Uh, the, the prep is a lot easier on the one that I made for you tonight. So of course, if you liked my video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you definitely hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Comment below. Let me know if you're going to try this recipe. Let me know what you thought of this recipe. And if you love these comfort foods, definitely let me know that as well. I will see all of you in my next video. Bye.